Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you're having a great start off to your week. I am so excited about today's video because we are going to be comparing, reviewing, testing the Alter Ego Coastal Palette, which you guys, if you can't tell, it is supposed to be a dupe for one of my all-time faves, the Rose Quartz Palette by Huda Beauty. And I mean, can you tell which one I have on which side? Let me know down below your guesses and let's get into today's video. Hey you guys and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and this is the Beauty is a Vibe. And if y'all cannot tell, I am super hyped about today's video because y'all already know one of my all-time favorite palettes. I wouldn't say my all-time favorite palette, but definitely top five for sure. And one of my top favorite palettes for Huda Beauty is the Rose Quartz palette and the reason being just the shades, the tones, the textures. I mean, there's just so many different finishes. And I mean, as you can tell, I have definitely used and abused this palette for sure. But one of my other favorite brands, Alter Ego, apparently came out with a dupe of this palette, which they make some of the best quality dupes that I have seen to date. The last one that they did for Natasha Denona, oh, sickening sickening so i am really excited about this i have not dug into it like here it is right here you guys i love the little notes that they always leave inside too they are such a great company as a whole honestly and now obviously this is one of my favorite palettes so i'm not gonna go easy on them for sure you guys know i'm gonna be a little nitpicky because again this is one of my favorites but as far as companies go, I absolutely love Alter Ego, and I just wanted to throw that out there because they are an amazing company. Their team that reaches out and emails me is always so sweet and so kind and so supportive, and I just, I just had to say that. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into this. It looks like there is also an eyeshadow primer in here, but I'm not going to use this today because... Again, I wanna use what I know works, so I'll let you guys know about this later on. And let's look at the Coastal palette. So this is what the outer carton looks like right here. Super excited, you guys. Oh, their packaging has been getting better and better too. I mean, honestly, because you guys, if you forgot, this palette right here is 69 doll hairs. $69. Like this is right when she like raised the prices and stuff. And this palette right here is $20. So $49 cheaper. If the quality of this is anything like this, just stop what you're doing and run and go pick it up. I will have everything linked down below. Again, we got to, we got to check the quality, but I'm just saying, okay. Oh my god you guys oh it looks just like a freaking fresh hood of beauty palette look at that oh my god oh i cannot wait to get into these shades okay so we're definitely have to do some swatches i'm gonna definitely show you guys some side by side so here's a side by side of the Huda Beauty and the Coastal Palette by Alter Ego. So again, this is untouched and I'm going to also show you guys some side-by-side -side swatches of each one so that you can kind of get... Here are the swatches from both palettes and as you guys can see, I have the Huda Beauty on the right side and I have the Alter Ego Coastal Palette on the left and they nailed it, you guys. Like these shades are dead on one another and in the Alter Ego Palette, there are some shades that were even far more pigmented than the Huda Beauty. They were far softer, they were easier to apply. I am so impressed. So as per usual, we are going to put one on one side, one on the other and see what they look like side by side on the eye. It's the best way to test it out in my personal opinion. And I'm also going to be using the Sigma switch and using the same brush for each palette because again, we're going to keep this fair across the board. And then as my eye primer today, 
I use the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Okra. If you guys didn't check my last video, testing and trying out old school makeup that we have in our drawers and have had forever, uh, definitely check that out. I'll put it up in the cards down below in the description box and at the end of this video. All right, let's get on into this palette because I can't wait any longer, you guys. Oh my gosh, what should we do? So one of my favorite colors in the Huda Beauty, honestly, and you guys are going to be really surprised to hear this, but it's this shade Radiate right here. It is this soft brown with this pinky undertone. So we are going to find the coordinating shade to Miss Radiate, which looks like it's going to be Reef. So let's just, yeah, let's get on into it. So we're going to take Radiate from the Huda Beauty palette. And we're gonna go ahead and lay that right here on the crease, which again, it's it's just one of my favorite shades because as you see, even though it looks gray in the pan, it really has this very pretty, cool pink undertone to it. And I just really love this as I mean, honestly, like even if you don't have time to put on a lot of makeup, just putting a little bit of this and any one of these shimmer shades on your lid and you are good to go. So very excited to see what Coastal Sense is. So I dipped into that a couple of times and built it up just a little bit. So we're going to do the same on this one. I mean, the formula looks, looks pretty similar. Ooh, ooh. I will say, I actually think the Coastal palette may have just a little bit more pigmentation, surprisingly enough. Um, it is a little more gray. I don't know, you guys. I don't know that I'm seeing, let's see. We gotta do it like a couple of times because that's what we did with the Huda Beauty. So, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely seeing way more pigmentation with the Coastal palette. I've had the Huda Beauty for a little bit longer, but it shouldn't really matter as we saw with the Urban Decay palette. But I mean, yeah, so I think this is coming off just a little bit more gray. The Huda Beauty has a little bit more pink, but honestly, I can't tell too much of a difference other than that. And that's like really getting really, really nitpicky here. Okay, so let's see what should we do next. Let's go into a little bit of Serenity. That is another one of my favorite shades. So we're going to grab just a little bit smaller of a brush here. This is the BK Angie Hot and Flashy A502. And the Serenity is a little bit of a like light purple shade. And I like just using that to just deepen up this crease here just a little bit, especially for the look that we're going to do today. I just really feel like it kind of ties it all together. So again, um, and this also picks pulls out a little bit of that like pinky undertone in that last shade radiate that we used. So now we are going to find... Oof. Oof. Now we're going to find the coordinating shade, which looks to me like it's going to be Breeze right here. I mean, I will say like kickback wise, I'm getting more kickback from the Huda Beauty palette than I am from the Alter Ego palette, which is surprising to say the least and definitely a lot more pigment. I mean, like, look at that. Look at that pigment. Like that's one little swipe. So I'm really, I'm quite impressed with this, you guys. And honestly, one thing I love about these dupe palettes is they are great to travel with because they're more of this like cardboard material. And again, if something happens to this, it's $20 versus $69. Like say if you lose your luggage or if it just, you know, ends up getting smashed or something because somebody threw your stuff. I usually keep my makeup and my carry-on, but that's just me. But this shade, way more pigmented. Way more pigmented. Like I had to dip into that three times. I only dipped into that twice. So yeah, way more pigmented. 
So I'm gonna take a little bit of that breeze now and actually I'm going to just bring it on down and then I'll go back to the other side and do the same thing on the Huda Beauty side. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here because I want you guys to see something. So if you look at this eye versus this eye, so again, this one has the Coastal Palette, this one has the Huda Beauty. And if you look at them side by side, the Coastal Palette is not falling in and accentuating my wrinkles nearly as much as the Huda Beauty. So that in itself is pretty dang on impressive, you guys. Like this formula so far, and again, we're only two shades in, but I have to say that I am impressed and this is definitely their best formula to date. And I thought the last Natasha Denona dupe that they did was really good, but this is fire, like Fire, y'all. Okay, I cannot wait any longer. We've got to dip into one of these. Oh, okay, we gotta do the Huda Beauty first. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, let's go into a little bit of Cosmic Love. This is one of my favorite shades, again, in this palette. And like, this is a showstopper type of shade and one of the shades that just absolutely makes me fall in love with this palette for sure. So I just start off, as you guys see, putting a little bit on my finger and just kind of patting it on. And then I usually take a brush here, just like a little flat uh, crease definer brush. And then I take a little bit with that and just kind of, you know, define the crease and pat it on the rest of the way. And again, as you can tell, it is just a showstopper sh shade for sure. I mean, whoo, fire, baby, fire. Okay, oh, don't let me down, don't let me down. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go into the coordinating shade in this palette, which is, let me make sure I get my finger nice and wiped off here. And it looks like it's gonna be Ripple. Oh, she looks similar. Oh my God, you guys, she's so soft. Oh, okay, I gotta get her on, I gotta get her on. Oh, okay, okay, hold up. Hold the phone. Oh my God, you guys, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> like. This is their best palette to date by a long shot, y'all. Holy cannoli. This is my new favorite palette. I mean, I like the fact that this is only $20 with this formula. Like, oh, okay. I can just tell you right now, stop what you're doing. Pause the video. Go order this palette. Like, if this palette does not sell out, I would be extremely surprised for sure i mean this shade i mean look i'm just going to show you guys with my brush like look at how soft that shade is like do you see that oh it is so soft and so just scrumptious like oh i will tell you one thing that i am noticing it's not a big thing not by any means because I mean, honestly, once applied, I cannot tell one from the other. But I am having to build this shade um, ripple up just a little bit more. But it's because it's not sticking quite as well to the brush. It stuck to my finger just fine. It actually stuck to my finger better than the Huda Beauty did. But I will also say with the Huda Beauty when I very first got that, I had the same problem with that palette. So um, I think that it's just something to do with this particular formula. I'm just gonna press that back down with my brush. But yeah, I think it's just this particular type of uh, like glitter-y shimmer shade that this is. But holy smokes, you guys. Oh, she gorgeous. She gorgeous. Okay, what should we do next? We need to do something else. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So I, you guys know, I don't like the Petri dish shades, but just for the sake of a swatch, which this one feels actually kind of a little not as moist. I hate that word. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to put the Petri dish shade, which is, this is the one that I'm just really not a big fan of. And this is why I'm not a big fan of it. Cause you really just, it, it's just, it's like a gloss. It's like a gloss. It's got like a little, these little shimmer balls in it. So again, we're going to wipe our finger. I'm going to use the same exact finger and we're going to swatch the one coordinating shade that they have, which is called Coral. And obviously this one is a little bit more, I'm not saying the word, but you know what I'm thinking. Okay. And I'm not getting the color. Maybe I need to push down just a little more. Yeah, I'm not really getting any color. I mean, I don't really get any color from hers either, but these are the shades side by side. And yeah, they're both just like a glossy shade. I get a little more pink in the Huda Beauty, just like a hint. And I mean a very, very small hint. And I'm just going to do it one more time. We'll do it with my actual, uh, what do you call that? This finger. So... Yeah, so I just get a little, just a little hint of pink there. And then I'm gonna wipe this off really good. And then we're gonna do it in this one. And I will also say this one doesn't have quite the amount of little beady things, crystals, whatever they are, pigments in there as the Huda Beauty. Okay, I'm getting a little, little, little more something there. But yeah, so there's just a hint of a difference again between these two, but they're both just like gloss shades. So not my favorite shades, not the reason I would buy this palette by any means. I would buy this palette for all of these other shades because, oh, this is just sick, you guys. Okay, uh, what do I wanna do next though? On our eyes. Ooh, so let's do a little bit of sparkle. Ooh, yes, I love sparkle. So in this one, it is Moon Magic. Again, another one of my favorite shades just because, I mean, like, do you see that? Ooh, do you see that? It is gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. So we're going to put a little bit of that. Ooh, right here because it just, it's like a holographic type of shade Moon Magic is, and Sparkle is looking the same. So we're just gonna put that right here on this inner portion of the eye, just to make that last shade pop just a little bit more. And ooh, she does, she does. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on this eye. Actually, I'm gonna use this finger since we're working on this eye. Oh, she feels, she feels just the same, you guys, just the same. Oh, okay. So this one's got a little more like flake to it. But again, this is a brand new palette. So I'm not comparing a brand new palette to a brand new palette, but it's doing the same thing. Oh my God, it's doing the same thing. It's really pulling out those blues and then it gets darker to that purple. We're definitely gonna have to deepen up that outer corner there. But, oh baby, it's, I mean like, and again, if you look at each eye, this one versus this one, this is not showing and accentuating near the amount of um, wrinkles on my actual eyelid as this one is. Which is surprising because it's one of the things that I love about the Huda Beauty formula is the fact that it doesn't accentuate nearly the amount of my wrinkles and creases as most other formulas. That's also why I love Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, some of the other higher end formulas. That is what they were able to recreate with friggin' 20 bucks, you guys. 20 bucks. Oh, and did I mention that I also have a discount code too? I think I had, I think I have a discount code. I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys and I'm going to put it down below in the description box. I can't remember what it is. I think it's called, I think it's not so evil, but it's a discount code. So $20 
minus the discount code, whatever that comes to. I think it might be like a 10% off or something. Who cares? Because it's a $20 palette. I would just buy it for 20 bucks, quite frankly. And I'm not just saying that. You guys know, I've not loved every single one of their palettes. But this one right here is fire. Like fire, 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 fire. Like call the damn 911 because somebody's going to have to put me out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's um let's deepen up this outer corner here. What are we gonna use for that? Ooh, let's try another one of these textures here. So let's try this abyss. And uh, of course, we're gonna start with the Hood of Beauty. So that is the shade Empowered right there. Speaking of that Empowered, she came out with the Empowered palette. I did get that. And um, it's not one of my favorite palettes from Huda by any means, but the one thing that I will say about it is the fact that the eyeliners in that palette are just, they're so good. They are so good. So I'm just, I'm just saying, Ultra Ego, if you're watching, wink, wink, you know what I'm saying? Because those eyeliners are, they're, they're really good. And what makes them so good is the fact that, you know, you don't have to be good at liquid liner to use them. It's just a really forgiving formula. And I, the one thing I will say though, I wish she would have put some kind of little cover or something over top of it to keep it protected from the rest of the shades, like accidentally getting in there. Cause that's one thing that I have had to deal with a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this brush that we were using earlier and I'm just gonna blend that up here because I already did the rest of my makeup and I can't like clean up the edges like I normally would do. And then we're gonna go over to this eye and use the same shade, which again, the coordinating shade in this one. Oop, almost forgot to wipe my brush off on the switch. Cannot forget that. Coordinating shade is Abyss. And again, this one's not, okay, so this one's not quite as soft and not picking up on this brush as well, but I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking too soon here because the pigmentation is definitely there. That's one thing I will say about this palette. It's got the pigment, baby. Like, holy cow, it's got the pigment. And this shade looks identical i've only we've only seen what one two shades that weren't just an exact dupe of the other one that very first shade that we i mean like look at that that is way more pigmented and i use less of it i really didn't even push down that hard like holy cannoli you guys this is so good like so so good all right let me throw on or let me finish blending this out and then throw on some lashes and some, well, mascara, then lashes, and then we'll work to the bottom lash line. All right, you guys, so let's see if we can fit a couple more shades on to these eyes. I will tell you, if you do hear some background or laughing or somebody hollering or something like that, it's outside. Today is actually Easter that I'm filming this. I just put the ham in the oven, and um, the kids, everybody are gone. I have the house to myself, so I thought I would take the time to, you know, have a little me time, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get into, let's see, how about mantra? So we're gonna dip a little bit of that onto this brush and my camera angles and stuff for this new setup in the new house is a little bit different than what I am used to. So I apologize in the last video I noticed that I had like my head down when I was doing my lash line and I was like, oh, that's not good. So I had to like cut most of that out. My apologies, sincerely. So I'm just gonna have to take a little time learning these new angles and this new setup because it's completely different than what I'm used to, especially because this current setup that I have transitions over and I can use it for like TikTok as well, which again, you guys are not following me over there. 
I don't do as much beauty content. I will say it's more of like spiritual awakenings and tarot cards, crystals, and also I'll be launching my jewelry business, which I was supposed to launch on Friday, but my inventory did not get here and it will not be here until Monday, which is probably the day that you guys will be seeing this video. So if you want to come hang out um, for our launch party, okay, so one thing I will say is this shade right here is, um, does have a little bit of fallout in this uh, coastal palette. Just a little bit more. I mean, I'm seeing it on both sides, but I'm definitely noticing it a lot more. So I'll have to clean that up when we are finished because there's no sense in cleaning it up now because we're not done yet. Okay, so that was Mantra. And then the coordinating shade in the Coastal Palette was Haze. And then let's go for a little bit of Precious. My Precious. So this is a gray shade. And we're just going to use that to just fill the rest of this in right here. And then again, we'll use the coordinating shade on the other side, which looks like it's going to be Urchin. I love these names. I love the fact that they called this palette Coastal. And I love the names Reef, Ripple, Breeze, Urchin. I can't wait to get into that glow shade right there. That's one of my favorite favorite shades the quartz shade in the Huda Beauty palette so I am very excited to get into that I'm going to dip that in the wrong shade so I will say I am definitely pleasantly impressed and surprised with this palette like they they came out swinging, baby. All right, so let me clean up my under eyes a little bit here and then put on some mascara, revamp my lips, take my hair out of clips, do all the things, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so I cleaned up my under eyes the best I could without taking all of my makeup off, but this is the finished look. And you can definitely not tell that I have two completely different palettes on at all. I am so impressed with this Coastal palette that Alter Ego did. I mean, we got into a lot of the shades in here today, and I have to say they were pretty much a dupe. I mean, an exact dupe or a better than dupe than the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. Like, honestly, you guys, depending on what kind of look I'm doing, I'm probably gonna grab this one over this one, just because, again, this is a $20 palette, and it was more pigmented. There were so many shades that were much more pigmented. On top of that, as you guys saw, my actual lines and creases and those types of things were not nearly as accentuated, which is one of the things that I love about the Huda Beauty palette. Normally, that's what this does, but this one does it better which is so so surprising to me and I am so happy to have this I am so happy Alter Ego was kind enough to send this to me thank you again I really do appreciate it and I was so happy to review it and I'm so glad that I didn't have to give it a bad review because they are such a kind company and I'm glad that they just absolutely smacked it out of the park with this one so yeah you guys run do not walk. Definitely go grab this. I will have everything linked down below. It is totally worth the $20 plus percentage off. I think it's 10% off. Again, I'll have my code again down in the description box. I really hope you enjoy this as much as I do, especially if you've been wanting the rose quartz, but not wanting to spend pretty much $70 for a palette because you get the same amount of shades and they're just as good, like just as good. So anyways, that is all I have on this for today. Uh, I will see you guys literally in two days and we got a lot to talk about. So until then, see ya.